I went to two tabletop sales today and I picked up an item for just £2 that might be worth a small fortune. Stay tuned if you want to find out what that item is. Hey, welcome back to Cooking Haydens and Carboot. Chris, I'm a full-time reseller and today I went to two, two tabletop sales, two local tabletops, uh, one in a church, one in a local community hall. And um, you do sometimes get some bargains at these places and normally they sell pretty cheap as well. It's just a haul today, but it's worth watching because as I said in the intro, I picked up an absolute belter. Seriously, I needed help from one of our very famous, esteemed colleagues in the community. And we'll talk about it after we've done the other shit that I picked up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you. I got this Olympus digital camera. It's an old one. It's a two megapixel, so it's not really great as far as cameras go. But these things can be collectible. It's an Olympus... Um, Comedia, that sounds bad, doesn't it? Who wants a camera with Comedia? Um, C990 is the model number, that's the one. Now the good thing about this is that it's boxed with all its bits and bobs. If it was just loose, it probably wouldn't be worth that much. Now I did pay um, a total of eight pound for this, you know, so I kind of paid up for it. But I know that when things are in their boxes with all their bits, it gives it extra value. I think this Olympus C990 is going to be worth about 30 to 40 pound. Um, so not too bad for the eight pound spend. Wow, I've just seen the original price on this camera on the side. The London Camera Exchange in Paynton um, is where this was bought, which is actually just up the road. Well, Paynton is, I don't know if the shop's still there. 469 pound this thing costs. Now I've got another camera as well uh, from the same store. Uh, this is a HP PhotoSmart R817. I paid £4 for it. You can see there's a price on there. Um, there is a note on it saying, works okay, needs a new battery and memory card. So that's that's going to affect it, especially the battery. That's going to affect the value. Um, I paid £4, as I said. I think this one is going to be worth about 40 Seems to have some decent value, this one. Not sure why, but... Who knows? Here's a bit of a fail for you. We've got a cracking item coming up at the end of this haul. But just to show you the opposite end of the scale, this one's a cock up, right? I paid um, £4 for this. I probably paid too much. Well, I clearly paid too much. It's this Philips Astro Box. And I just thought it's got Philips on it. Astronomy. What is this thing? So I opened it up. And it looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. It looks pretty cool. It's got this um, this thing. In fact, you know what, Eric? Eric might like this. This is Mr. Eric Bryan. Holt! Yay! Hi, guys! There he is. Hi! I'm Eric Holt. I'm six years old as well. If anybody has a question about the solar system, we can try and see if Eric knows the answer because he does know quite a lot. Oh, I, I easily know that one. What is the biggest star? The answer is... You are Scootai. Who? The, the sun is a speck compared to you are Scootai. Or maybe oh. smaller than the speck of a sand. Maybe really? smaller than it. That's See, how big it is. I didn't even know that. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to give this to young Eric. You'll know him. He's been on the show before. Um, loves space. So I'm very, very knowledgeable for a little lad as well. Oh, monumental again. <laughs> 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 okay, what about Planet X? Planet X isn't real. Or maybe investigated planets, but they're not real. 
and you're not on evidence yet. Yeah. <laughs> I paid four pound. If I was to sell it, I'd probably get a fiver for it. So it's not worth selling. I think it will be worth a lot more to young Eric. So he can have it. If he wants it, he might say, Chris, that's a load of... He won't. So anyway, it was a fail, but Brainwave, it's not a fail anymore. Um, okay, we've got some clothing. We've got this really nice um, Ralph Lauren Yarmouth shirt. It's a size 17 neck, so quite a hefty neck, but it's a big size as well. I mean, it's a pretty big shirt. Um, paid one pound. This is the great thing about some of these tabletops. That was one pound. So um, that's got to be at least 20. And I think maybe because of the big size, it could be pushed to 25. Because they're harder to get hold of. Um, this is cool. Look at this one. This is uh, like a bit of a vintage kickers jumper. That's nice. I like that. Uh, size medium, paid a pound, I think about 20 on that, about 20, 20 squidders, um, a pretty standard regatta outdoors sort of rain jacket walking, rain jacket thing, hooded, looks in fairly good condition, might need to just give it a wipe down, uh, pound, so uh, I think about 15 to 20 on that. What's this one? Um, oh yeah, this is the New Zealand one. It's New Zealand, uh, Planet New Zealand. It looks like it's, it looks like a vintage label to be honest, but it's a fleece. What size is it? It's an XL. It's a nice fleece. I mean, there's not much else to say about it. Um, it cost me one pound. So, 20 to 25 on that, I reckon. Uh, this is a PG Field um, fleece gilet, or fleece body warmer, or sleeveless top. It's the kind of thing you might wear hunting, walking, shooting, that kind of thing. Uh, it needs a bit of a de-bubble. It cost me one pound, again a pound, so I think about 15 on that one. I got some, uh, well, I can't say I know the brand. Mo Shulu, Mo Shulu shoes. Pumps, a bit like Converse, but made by Mo Shulu. And it was funny because we were in Totnes the other day and there's actually a Mo Shulu shop in Totnes, which is about 15 minute drive from us. Um, so I'm guessing that these were probably brought, bought in there and ended up at the uh, at the local tabletop sale. But they don't look like they've really been worn at all in good condition. Now, what did I pay for these? Um, four pound are paid. I think they could be worth about 20. A couple of super dry items. A nice super dry rain jacket with a real retro feel to it. I love the colourings on this. Um, I kind of like the two-tone blue with the red zip. It's got a real sort of retro vibe going on. Um, what was this? This was £2. I think this could be about 25 quid. Um, and the other super dry item was this denim shirt. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, it's a size small and it's still new with tags. Uh, unfortunately, someone's written £4 on the tag. This actually cost £1. Um, just trying to figure out if it's women's or men's. Super size denim shirt. I think this is a women's shirt. Just looking at kind of the way it looks with the badges and stuff, I think it's women's. But it says um, like oversized, so it's an oversized shirt. Super sized denim shirt. But uh, that was one pound for a tagged super dry. Um, I think that's worth somewhere in the region of 20 quid. Okay, so now we get on to the really interesting bit. So um, I was in 
this venue and I spotted a handbag. This is the said handbag. Um, I spotted this handbag. I've never bought, to my recollection, which I know is poor, I've never bought a women's handbag before. But I saw this and immediately I thought it looked like quality. It just stood out to me. It was on the floor. It had a four pound tag on it and it's got Burberry all over it. Real nice quality. I've given it a little clean up and it's come up quite nice, even though there is a bit of a mark on the inside. You may or may not be able to see it. I'm not sure, but there's a little bit of a mark where somebody's had like, you know, a, something spill out of their handbag. Um, it's got the snappy clothes. And I'll show you the tag. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there. It's in pretty good condition all over, other than some wear around here, and some wear on the corners, and that little mark on the inside, but it's very nicely made. So immediately I'm thinking to myself, it looks genuine. All the stitching on the leather is immaculate. Um, the quality of the materials, and most importantly, the little badge on the inside looks good compared to others. But, and if it turns out not to be real, this is no slant on on um, the Cola Flipper, Lee. But I contacted Lee, sent him some photos and video and stuff, and I said, Lee, what do you reckon to this? Um, and obviously there's a rider that he hasn't seen this in person, he's only seen photographs, but he felt like it was genuine. And he sent me a load of research that he did for me, which is absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Lee. Um, he did a load of research. He's, he got some images from the internet of the labels and this little inside label here. And it looks good compared to everything else. So I'm hoping it's real. Now then, it was tagged at four pound, but when I went to buy it, the lady knows me, I go in regular every week, and she said I could have it for two. Now, normally I would just say, I'll give you four pound for it because I think it's worth it, but I didn't know if it were genuine or not. So I took the discount, I said, thank you very much, right? But here's the thing, here's my promise. If this turns out to be genuine, and if it sells for good money like I've listed it, I will go back and I will give them, I will give the lady some extra wad of cash just to say thank you for selling me this item. Um, I've got it listed at £150. Uh, Lee reckoned I could possibly have gone a little higher, um, but because it's got some wear, I decided to stick at 150 and see what interest we get. Even if we have to let it go a little bit cheaper, we can let it go because I paid two pound for it. And that has got to be an absolute steal and fingers crossed everything is okay with this sale when it eventually goes through, because I'm sure it's going to sell. So big up to Lee the Cola Flipper. Um, great deal of knowledge. Thank you so much. Much more knowledge than me um, on this kind of thing. I don't often pick up anything like that, um, but now that I have done, I'll keep my eye out on those old handbags. Um, thanks very much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a haul, no footage this time. Um, but uh, take care, happy sales, and drop us a comment. Let me know what you think, and give us a thumbs up. See you later. Bye.